Hi everyone, I'm here once again with the HTC One. I'm going to show you the top 8 apps of the week. So first I'm going to start by showing the names of the apps. The first app is called Moga Pivot App and it's a free app but it's supposed to link a Bluetooth controller that it's a pocket controller. Let me move the phone away so you can see it. It's 30 bucks, three zero. So very handy. It's a portable controller that's supposed to fit your pocket and it's just for portable gaming. So that's the first app. And the second app is Notifications Bubble Free, which is a notification uh, live wallpaper. Second one is a key keyboard. Third one is Stick It, Glove Box, Music Download, Paradise Pro, Text Plus, and Avast Mobile Security. So I'm going to start with um, Pogo Pivot. So I'm not going to show you how the actual controller works on the phone because this video would take too long. So basically, you go into the app. You see uh, some games that are linked to your phone. I think it changes with every phone you have. But with HTC One, there's Modern Combat, Asphalt for Racing. Um, there's plenty. Uh, there's zombie games. You can see free games and paid games. So this controller connects to your phone by Bluetooth. And it uses AAA batteries on each side. And it's very light. And so you open this up. And that's where you put your phone. And it totally changes the gaming experience on a phone. Because it also has L1 and L2 buttons in the back. <clears throat> Excuse me. And in the front it has joysticks, two joysticks, and the A, X, Y, B buttons. So very handy when it comes to uh, if you're a gaming person, which I am. So... Again, Moga controller, if you want to look it up, I bought it online. So you can get it anywhere, Amazon, eBay, whatever. So second app is notifications, bubbles free. So what that is, is you have a wallpaper on your phone and you put this live wallpaper and it goes on top of it. And it's just notifications and bubbles. So the difference between the, between the paid app is that you can change the color of the bubbles. And I just like it. I think it's, it looks cool. Um, it might not be the taste for everyone, but when you get a text or a notification, you see that the bubble is different. It has the picture of the person and some parts of the text message. And if you tap it, it goes straight to your text messaging app. And it's just for notifications, and for the calls, emails, Twitter. You can link your Twitter, your Facebook, and you just get all these bubbles with all those notifications. So that's a pretty cool app, and you should give it a try. Now, the second one, or the third one. It's key keyboard setting. So if you can see this, KII keyboard. Now, I'm a person who always sticks with the stock keyboard that a phone brings. So for me to be using a different keyboard than the one that HTC Sense 5 brought is really big because I'm never, I'm not the type of person who likes using different keyboards. But this one, I gave it a try because um, somebody emailed me for a different keyboard because they didn't like the stock one. And this is the keyboard for you. The keyboard is nice. You can change the themes. I'm going to bring the phone closer. You can change the themes. You can change the size of the keys. Uh, you can change a lot of stuff. You can change the vibration, the sound. And also, you get emojis, which is really big for me. I always had to copy and paste when I wanted to tweet an emoji. So besides that, you get swipe. That is the same as the one that the HTC One uh, Sense brought, the stock app. And it's very, you can, you have your own dictionary, you have bilingual translation to Spanish. And I'm going to show you the emoji. So you go to your blank feed, and I hope you know how to do this. So you press the pencil, and you can send a tweet from here. Then you get your tweet, your twit, you get your tweet, and you hold your numbers, go to your smileys, and you get all your emojis, or emo, em, emojis. Some girl told me today that I was saying it wrong. Well, however you say it, and... It's really handy, and I think it's probably the best keyword I've tried over the years besides the stock one that comes with the phone. Now, the fourth one is Stick It, not one of my favorite apps. Stick It is the app that's going to save you when you want to listen to a song on YouTube and you want to do other stuff on your phone. It's basically multitasking for Wiz Touch or, Wiz Touch or um, Samsung Galaxy S4 and all this stuff. So... I'm going to go and look for a video of mine, which is the first part of the best apps for the HTC One. I'm going to go up there and press share. Now, I don't know where share is. Share just popped up. Share. 
I'm going to look for Snicket and it's going to open a different window. Now I'm going to press home and I'm going to go back to my home. Now you can do everything like normal and you have this multitasking window like the Samsung Galaxy. And if it's a song, let's pretend it's a song, but it's going to be a voice. You play the video, the, the, the video, which is it's like a separate right, browser. I'm going to go over eight apps. And I'm going to pause it so I don't get confused. And you can have your so you can have your song playing there. You can adjust the size. Um, the green one makes the browser big. The uh, yellow one, if it's, since it's a song, you put it in the uh, notification bar. And you're just listening to your song and you're just doing your stuff. Uh, let's open it back. When you open it back, the red one closes it, or you can close it from the notification bar. So I press the red one. Now the theme, the layout was Mac. Um, I think you get Mac. Jelly Bean and Android, so you can choose whatever theme you want. So that's stick it for you. This one, it's a buck. I think it's a dollar and twenty nine, but I'm telling you, it's worth it. You can show off, and besides that, it's actually useful when you're trying to listen to a song that you don't have. Now, Glowbox, the next one right here on the bottom, it's an app that I've already uh, shown in other videos, but I never added it to um, the best apps, the top eight, and that's the shortcut that comes in the side, just like the Samsung Galaxy, like the multitasking, but I think it's the Note 2. So very handy app. When you have want to have really quick shortcuts on your phone, it doesn't lag, it doesn't take your memory RAM, so you can still spec a really fast phone besides this quad-core processor. So that's glove box, a shortcut for your phone. Now the next one, it's Music Download Paradise Pro. Let me go to my app so you see the name. Uh, music Download Paradise Pro. That's the best app, uh, the one you can rely on when you want to download music. So you just go to the app, type song, artist, or album, whatever you want, name. I typed one before doing the video, which is Wiz Khalifa song. Found the song, it downloaded in less than 30 seconds. And if I go to my music app and look for the song, it's right there. It's already in your music app. So very reliable and it's really fast. So the best app to download music and it's just free. So it's really nice. Next one is Text Plus. I already told you guys it's for texting. This is for HTC Ones or any Androids who don't have unlimited texting. So you go to Text Plus, make an account in less than 30 seconds or a minute, and you have free text messages and calls. Now, I haven't tried the calls, but I have tried the uh, texts, and they're fast, the text messages, and they're free. So in case you don't have an unlimited data plan, you can use this because you want to have unlimited stuff on your phone, on your HTC One. And the last one to finish the video is an antivirus app. Now, I'm not really... I don't dig, if you don't like the word dig, I don't like antiviruses just because the fact that they're running in the background of your phone. But this one is one that I really like. I installed it. I do a scan of my apps. So when you install the app, you get a scanner. So you can scan all your apps. So you're going to go to virus scanner, scan your storage in your app. So you check both, scan your phone. Then when it tells you that it's clean, you can be calm and I don't install it. So I just take it off because I don't want anything running in the background. Now, if you want a person that you like it, it doesn't really matter. It doesn't kill your battery or waste your RAM. It's just I don't like that icon on the top. And I think you can actually even take that icon on the top. I just don't like anything running in my background. It's just a pet peeve. So very nice antivirus. You can set it up so it covers you on the websites you go. Apps you download even from the Play Store. So very light and powerful antivirus. So those are the top uh, eight apps of the week. And really thank you for watching my videos. I have a lot of views in the past month. I think it's like 3,000 and it's just all you guys. So this is the HTC One again and thank you for watching.